for many. Making ends meet during the coronavirus pandemic means cutting back on necessities. But should life insurance be on that list? Hannah Bueller takes a closer look. You don't know what's going to happen if one of us is left alone. It's a conversation no one wants to have, but for Amy Paoletti, it's one that's necessary. You see so many people of all ages dying and nobody has anything covered because it was just something that happened. Getting life insurance in a COVID-19 world has Paoletti and her husband looking at their options. To cover anything that could happen when you're not expecting it. Paoletti says with owning her own business, Amy's fine jewelry in Williamsville, and her husband working in healthcare, they both come in contact with many people. They're looking at their life insurance options in case anything were to happen. They look at your age, your health, and your lifestyle. Demetrius Mack owns the Mack Bar Group. Among many things, he helps people with financial literacy and sells life insurance. Now we're in a situation where we don't have too many options. It's important that we're proactive as opposed to reactive. Max says the COVID-19 pandemic has made it harder for people to get life insurance, partly because the underwriting process is taking longer, getting medical records, insurers looking into your medical history. And if you've had COVID-19 or have been exposed to COVID-19, you're not considered as healthy as a person who hasn't had it. And that could mean if you are approved for a policy, you'll be paying more. If you're more suspect to catching the virus, then yes, they're going to look at you a little bit differently and you're going to have to uh, um, fit a criteria um, in order to get said policy. A lot of people are looking to get life insurance to protect their loved ones if something were to happen. So Max says if there ever were a time to look into financial planning and your financial future to make sure you and your family can make ends meet, the time is now. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.